Hey friends, welcome back to The Savvy Campers. Today we're going to talk about should a travel trailer be level when towing? Let's get started. So to quickly answer the question of should your travel trailer be level when towing, the answer is yes. Your travel trailer does need to be level when towing. For example, when you're going down the road and you are nose up or nose down too far, it can cause excessive wear, it can cause tire failure, it could cause axle failure, um, many other items, and we'll get into those now. Okay, so the first reason your travel trailer needs to be level is for the stability and sway. So let's say your travel trailer is unlevel and it's rear heavy. That will cause your vehicle to have excessive sway because the travel trailer is actually pulling weight off your tongue. So imagine your ball mount here, it's pulling weight up and it could decrease the traction on the rear of your tires and it causes sway. So whenever you level your travel trailer, you always wanna be a little bit nose down, maybe an inch or so, just because of the fact that you want extra weight to be on the tongue of the trailer. Another reason for stability and sway is if you are rear heavy and you have to swerve to miss a deer or there's a semi and it blows you as you pass by, that can cause unnecessary sway and being rear heavy can really impact that and make more of a positive sway than if you're nose down just a hair. If you're nose down too far, same thing, it can cause more sway. Second reason your trailer needs to be level is because of aerodynamics. So imagine if you are back heavy, now you've got air going underneath and your travel trailer was designed to be as aerodynamic as a cardboard box can be, but that's provided it's level. If it's tilted up, you've got air going down and it's causing drag. Basically, you're trying to lift off your trailer, which is never going to happen, and it just slows you down, lowering your gas mileage and making you a little more pedal happy to keep up to speed. So make sure you are flat and your nose of your trailer can be as aerodynamic as possible as it was designed to be. So third reason you need to be level is because of tire wear and blowout failure. So if you are rear heavy or too front heavy, your travel trailer is actually putting more pressure on either the rear wheels or the front wheels. So if you're back heavy, it's like this, so you have more weight, so you cause these back wheels to heat up, which can cause failure, blowouts, and you don't want that to happen. Same if it's front heavy. So make sure it's level, adequate weight on both tires, make sure you monitor it, and you will be a happy camper. Okay, so the next reason you need your travel trailer to be level is for the axles. So let's say you have a 4,000 pound trailer and you have two 2,500 pound axles, giving you 5,000 pounds of gross weight, but you have 4,000 pounds. So if you're too front heavy or too back heavy, on your axle you may be overloading because you're not even. So instead of spreading 4,000 pounds over 5,000 pounds capacity of both axles, you've got 3,000 pounds on your rear axle that can only hold 2,500 pounds. This can cause damage to your axles, damage to your trailer, failure, loss of control, any things like that, premature wear on your bearings and your hubs, so you don't want that to happen. So you wanna be level for your axle sake. Along with level for your axle sake, basically the same thing what happens with your brakes. So imagine if you're like this and you go to brake, you're gonna have more pressure on this wheel than this one. This one may skid and not provide any braking, so when you go to brake, it may just skid because instead of braking on both wheels, you're skidding this tire because it doesn't have appropriate contact with the ground and this wire, this is just going along with the ride and trying to stop as much as you can, but you don't have enough voltage going to this one. So you wanna make sure you're level so your brakes can operate adequately. So ground clearance would be another reason that you need to be level. I can't tell you how many times I've seen vehicles that are like this or like that and they have the rear stabilizer jacks knocked off or the front tongue jack dented up because let's say you're nose heavy and you go over a curb and it bounces up, down, crack on the curb, damage your front jack. Same with if you're rear heavy, you're going down a curb and you hit your stabilizing jacks and knocked them off. Make them as level as possible so you, when you go over bumps or hills that you don't knock your jacks off or your tongue jack. 
So if you have a single axle trailer, trailer you'll want to level it for the same reasons. You may not have the braking or the blowout uh, worries, but same with leveling the aerodynamics and knocking off jacks. That's why you need to keep your single axle trailer as level as possible as well. So how do you level a travel trailer for towing? So you need a few items. You need a tape measure, a level, and a level ground. So go to an area that has really level ground. Maybe it's a school driving lane. Put your level on the ground, make sure it's all level. Bring your RV, park it. Unconnect it. Take your level, put it on your frame, and move it up and down until it's level. Then take your tape measure, measure the bottom of the frame to the ground here in the front, bottom of the frame to the ground in the back, get it all level. Now back your tongue, your hitch ball right up to your coupler and see, measure the differential between the two. So measure from your coupler to the ground, measure from your hitch ball to the ground. Subtract those items and you'll find out what different hitch you would need. So if you have a flat hitch and you need to go down two inches, you buy a two inch drop hitch and use that. The best way you can ensure a level travel trailer is to get an adjustable hitch so you can move it up and down on the fly and just in case you have different weight in your travel trailer or if you change vehicles, you don't have to buy a whole new hitch, you just move it up and down. Most weight distribution hitches have the adjustments on hand. We like the Anderson no sway hitch, we have it and we can move it and adjust it accordingly and it's great for us and it'll be a hitch that we buy once and we can use probably forever. All right, so let's go through some related questions. So how far off level can you be? So typically you could be either an inch high or an inch low, that's what's recommended. Um, we like to be an inch low, but you can also, when you load your travel trailer, make sure to put some more weight up front and that'll guarantee that you are low in the nose. Do I need a drop hitch? Well, it depends. When you leveled your trailer, do you need a drop or a rise hitch? So that, when you measure that differential between your ball and your coupler height when your vehicles are level, that's what will tell you what type of hitch you need. If you have a weight distribution hitch that allows adjustments, typically you can move them up and down, so that is the hitch that you would need, and you can make those adjustments. All right, well, thanks for joining us today on the Savvy Campers, learning about if your travel trailer should be level when towing. If you want to learn more or check out the post, I'll have the post linked in the description below. Make sure to subscribe. You can always Google Savvy Campers. Should a travel trailer be level when towing?